Okay, I actually had to Google that. Uh, I have never seen SQL not do what I was asking it to do, but that's okay. It's a learning curve. So what I had to do is go over here and right-click and go Result 2, Grid. And now we can see here's our ID. Here's our query. So what we're going to do, and let's fix that. So this is select ampersand. Let's make it a star. Save it. Let's go back over here. Oh, I lost my page. HTTP, localhost, 8080, bug, tracker, includes, test, not PHP, I think it was called. Yep, we're done with that. Let's go back over here. Let's execute this query again. So what we can do, we can take this. When we're having problems in our application, we're going to right-click, copy, Go new query. We're going to paste it. And then we're going to hit Control F5. Or F5, sorry. So we have nothing in our categories yet. So this is how you're going to debug your application. If things aren't working right, or you go run into some, I'll show you some Chrome debugging. Uh, if things aren't working the way you want them to, you can come over here. And if you log all your queries, you can one, track what users are doing things and kind of see where they're at based on their queries. Two, you can help debug and troubleshoot your application for you to save yourself a ton of your own sanity. So we'll stop here, and then let's go in and start building some screens in Architect.